I'm Wendy Partridge and I'm the costume designer on Hell on Wheels. In the initial concept meetings for Hell on Wheels, there was a massive amount of research done to see what the railroad workers really looked like. And it was evident that these guys, you know, slept and worked in their clothes for weeks or months before they ever cleaned. And their clothes were disgusting. We spent a great deal of time, energy and money tying clothes, weighting them, breaking them down, stretching the knees, you know, putting creases in, permanent creases in, and then making them filthy dirty. And that is just an ongoing process of dirt, dirt, dirt. There's definitely this somber, hard life mood that encompasses all of Hell on Wheels. Mark my words, gentlemen. It will be built. One of our leads is Durant, played by Colomini. He is the heart and soul behind our railroad. He has a lovely selection of frock coats, suits, vests. He's a wealthy guy, we never see him dirty. He's always dressed to the nines. You know, he has one or two interesting looks. He's got a great um, summer hat that we, uh, we came up with when he goes out riding. This is another piece that's done directly from research. There's actually a picture of Durant when he's out on the railroad in a felt fedora. So we, we stole it directly from the research. Our amazingly good looking Cullen is this incredibly revengeful person that's you know, running around the country killing people. He has this very solid, sexy, dark wardrobe that really personifies his character and particularly his hat. The beautiful thing about this hat is Anson Mount, who plays Cullen, has this just fantastic way that he uses this hat, where it sits just above his eyebrows and he is able to look just under the brim at the camera and you just really don't know what's going on behind those eyes. Of course, we aged the hell out of it. <laughs> Aging is done with a whole combination of things. There's baby oil, different powders that we use. There's some paraffin wax that creates um, a permanent sweat line. We pretty much use it anywhere, you know, where we have dirty workers, because there's a lot of dirt in Hell on Wheels. <laughs> this land, it's bewitching. Then we have our beautiful heroine, Lily, our leading lady. We're still shooting <laughs> elements of her covered in blood. There are, you know, disgusting, disgusting clothes. So we have numerous um, different outfits that she now wear, wears in Hell on Wheels that have, you know, all been designed and made for her. She's got a beautiful dinner dress, a green velvet dinner dress, and it really looks stunning on her. She, that green just brings out her eyes. And then she just wore this gorgeous outfit. It was quite elaborate and really beautiful on her. Pretty much all of our native clothing has been made from scratch. It's as authentic as we can possibly make it. Almost all the product has been acquired through the native community, the hides, the feathers, etc. Again, there's quite a lot of research available to us for these situations. We had the coyote headdress here was for a medicine man that was in a Sundance. This particular headdress, um, I found this amazing picture of the Cheyenne chief, Chief Two Moons. I then duplicated the horned headdress that he's wearing with buffalo horns. Uh, this is actually bear, not buffalo. Part of the research or preparing for the show was what we call a lookbook. We have a copy in the wardrobe department. The production office has one. And as we need to make new outfits for the characters, we can go to the book and, and say, would you like to have that dress made out of number 222? And the production office and LA can all look at the same piece at the same time. I like this one. There's elements of authenticity and that authenticity has created a mood. Everybody seems to have a, a dark story that comes out that adds to this, um, this sort of umbrella of darkness that covers Hell on Wheels. <laughs> 